Let me ask you a serious question. Are you waiting for soul crushing hot flashes before even thinking about hormone therapy? Because that's what I used to believe and what I used to tell my patients. But here's the truth. By the time the hot flashes hit hard, you may have already missed the window where hormone replacement therapy could have done the most good. In fact, research shows that starting estrogen therapy within 10 years of menopause is critical for protecting your heart, brain, and bones. After that, the benefits decline and sometimes the risks increase. So in this video, I'm breaking down the real reasons you might wanna consider hormone therapy before things get unbearable. We'll talk about what your hormones really do beyond hot flashes, why preventative HRT or hormone replacement therapy is gaining traction, and how this one mindset shift could completely change how you age. Hey there, I'm Dr. Renee, double board certified in OBGYN and functional medicine. I help women over 40 understand what's really happening with their hormones so they can take back control of their health. And in turn, they can feel energized, sharp, and confident in their skin again. My goal, to give you the clarity and tools you need to navigate perimenopause and beyond without guesswork, confusion, or fear. And if you're starting to feel like a shell of your former self, like something's off, but your labs say everything's normal, please grab my free guide, your midlife hormone check-in, what your doctor's not telling you, but I will. It walks you through the real reasons you're feeling this way and what to do about it. And before we dive in, this video is part of a full hormone therapy series I'm doing here on the channel. So if you've got questions about hormone replacement therapy, perimenopause, or anything I can cover, drop them in the comments below. I'll be gathering your questions over the next few weeks for a full Q&A video where I break things down further. So don't be shy. If you're wondering about it, someone else probably is too. So let's rewind for a second. After the Women's Health Initiative study came out in 2022, the medical world hit the brakes on hormone therapy. I was right there in the thick of it, telling women to tough it out unless their hot flashes were debilitating. That was the standard back then. Suffer first, treat later. And I get it. We were scared. But now we know the Women's Health Initiative data was misinterpreted. And I actually did a full video breaking down what that study got wrong. So what do hormones really do? Well, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone aren't just about periods and hot flashes. These hormones are involved in nearly every system in your body. Estrogen, for example, supports brain function, enhances blood flow, and regulates mood-boosting neurotransmitters like serotonin and acetylcholine. Estrogen also helps maintain bone density and keeps your arteries flexible, which in turn supports heart health. And then we have the superstar progesterone. She calms the brain, improves your sleep, and balances estrogen's effects. And then there's testosterone. It boosts muscle, motivation, mood, and libido. And yes, women need it too. These hormones also play a role in skin elasticity, collagen, pelvic floor strength, and even gut health. So when they decline, it's not just about hot flashes and night sweats. It's a full body shift. Now, I personally started hormone replacement therapy in my early 40s, not because I was soaking my sheets at night, but because I was irritable, gaining weight, and just didn't feel like me. I didn't wait until I was miserable, and I'm so glad I didn't. But again, this is a personal decision. You have to make your decision. So here's the thing. The critical window hypothesis shows that starting HRT within 10 years of your final menstrual period or before the age of 60 is when the benefits are strongest and the risks are lowest. So in the elite trial, it showed that starting estrogen early slowed plaque buildup in arteries. And then the KEEPS study found better cardiovascular markers and mood in early users of transdermal estrogen. So if you wait too long, you may lose those protective benefits. Yet most women are still told to wait until they're miserable before even considering hormone therapy. That advice, it's outdated. Okay, I need to go on a little bit of a rant here because this is what really frustrates me. As women, we've been conditioned to think that feeling tired, foggy, dry, and blah after 40 is just normal aging. 
that losing hormones means losing our minds, our bodies, and our vibrancy. And we're just supposed to accept it. We're told to essentially suck it up, shrink ourselves, dry out, fade away, nonsense. You do not have to shrivel up and disappear after 50. You can stay sharp, lubricated, confident, and energized for decades to come, but only if you stop waiting for things to get unbearable. So if you're in your 40s and starting to notice changes, even if they're not that bad yet, listen to your body. You don't have to wait for everything to fall apart to start supporting your hormones. Preventative HRT isn't about vanity. It's about function. And it's okay to want to feel good as you age. If this video resonated with you, don't forget to download my free guide, Your Midlife Hormone Check-In, What Your Doctor's Not Telling You But I Will. It's your first step towards understanding what's really going on inside your body and how to feel like you again. Don't forget to drop your questions in the comment. Like this video if you found it helpful. And please don't forget to subscribe for more no BS hormone education every single week. And with that, we'll see you right back here next week. Ciao.